Hey, what's up, guys? Dopestar 930. And yes, I know you're probably thinking, wow, three videos in the matter of, I don't know what it's been now, uh, like 30 minutes. Um, please, you know, stop, stop with the webcam videos. Um, sorry, but I did forget to mention something in my other two videos because they're kind of specifically towards, one was towards the website, one was towards the controller, and this one is just a little bit of Xbox 360 news that I thought I would throw out there. Um, as you guys know, I'm sure, um, I posted in one of my other videos something about Freestyle Dash. If you don't know what Freestyle Dash is, which I'm sure you do if you like my videos, it is an actual, um, how would I call it? It's a modified dash, which allows you to run unsigned code on uh, reset glitch hacked and uh, JTAG consoles. And their website was down for a long time, and nobody really knew what the deal is with it so in my video I, I um I believe I said something like what did I say oh look, there's a chance that maybe Microsoft was busting down on them or something like that and that um, you know maybe they're not gonna come out with that new I think it's the uh, RXE dashboard that's supposed to be coming out with a bunch of new features and connect uh, navigation and all types of crazy stuff but uh, sure enough they are back online and I'm gonna read it says um, this was posted on the 2nd, so two days ago on their website. It says, After an outage of servers, it seems we're back in business from an end-user perspective. I apologize for going up and down all the time, but we ran into issues with hosting, join the club, and our servers, which is resolved now. A lot of things run on the back end that no one sees and that has been set up and working for a while, but it seems to be all working now, minus a few aesthetic issues which, we resolved, which will be resolved in the next few weeks. So that's that. And also, they actually released a new uh, Freestyle Dash, and it's going to be called Freestyle Dash uh, 2.2. Uh, it says, we started to do some small updates and fixes on Freestyle Dash running on a slim. While working on it, we incorporated more and more fixes and some brand new features. The result. Some of the new features are faster file management, copy, delete, etc. Play games from PC Share with ConnectX plugin. Support for slim onboard MU. So I believe memory unit, I'm guessing. Um, new weather provider, as well as new tune on the about screen. It says information on how to use ConnectX is found in the plugins folder for users that use the auto update feature. And there's more, so let me see, um, right here. Okay, information. For users who use the auto update feature, the ConnectX only package can be downloaded separately, instructions included. Um, what else, the complete change log. Okay, actually, there's a ton of new stuff. Those, I guess, those ones I was reading, those five are just um, the main things. But there's actually, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It looks like forty to fifty. Just a ton, a ton of new things um, for this freestyle dash. So I'll put a link to the actual page with all the details, so you guys can check it out if you're interested and download it. Um, I'll probably download it and uh, make a video on it or something like that. So be looking for that. All right. All right, so I'm in this video. I just wanted to be a quick little, you know, update on what was going on with that because I felt like that's pretty cool uh, for the homebrew scene. All right, guys. So this is still starting at 30, and I'm out. Peace, guys.